Okay, let's unbox this Redfield Revolution. This is their 3 to 9 by 40 millimeters. Comes in a nice little cardboard box. Get a little bit of information about their reticle, waterproof, fog proof, and shock proof. Close up of the box. This is their mat with the AccuRange reticle. 3 to 9 by 40 millimeters. And this is item number 67095. Okay, let's dig in. I think it's going to be a quick unboxing video. <laughs> you get the scope. It comes protected by these little styrofoam protecting things. And also inside the box are two pieces of literature. So, one is the Redfield Rifle Scope Owner's Manual. I'm guessing that's a pretty generic one for all their models. And specifically, the AccuRange Reticle Guide. And this is pretty cool. Here they're giving you some information about the reticle itself, how many minutes of angle the subtensions are. And then up at the top here, they're giving you some common loads. And the group one and the group two yardages for those loads. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. You don't just have to guess what this reticle, they give you some starting points. So that's nice. And yeah, the scope itself. And that's it. No sunshade, um, no scope covers, so keep that in mind. If you're going to get this, perhaps you'd like to get some scope covers. Okay, let's actually take a close-up look of the scope. Here's a close-up look at the Redfield 3 to 9 by 40 Revolution. Starting at the back, we have our diopter corrector. It's lockable. So let me unlock the uh, thing. Which way does it go? It should go this way. Once you unlock it, then the whole eyepiece rotates. And what you should be doing is looking through the scope, and you want to get it so the reticle is nice and focused when you're looking at infinity. Once you do that, once you find it, lock it back down, cinch it down, and it shouldn't be changing on you. It's not a quick focused eyepiece, though. And the downside of that is I'll be looking through it and I can go through like four full revolutions and it looks pretty good. I have a very hard time finding the right spot, but I try my best. The plus side of it is though you have a lot more precision to get that reticle in focus. Going on to the zoom, the magnification lever, it's got very fine checkered knurling, and then the actual indicator is kind of recessed, it's a flat spot, whereas many scopes have like a lip that you can push on it, this one you kind of dig into it and push it. Every single number from 3 to 9 is indicated, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's a stiff ring to move. You're not going to be moving this unless if you really mean to move it. It works. Moving on to the turrets. Aluminum caps that screw down against a rubber washer, a rubber over. It's a minute of angle style turret. So one click is a quarter minute of angle. One full revolution is 15 minutes of angle indicated a little bit gritty the detents are very closely spaced not extremely precise but this is going to be one of those scopes where I think you're going to just zero it and forget it and so that's not really a problem you're not going to be really spinning these turrets a lot and if you plan to maybe this is not the scope for you <laughs> screws down across against a rubber washer again, which is nice, help keep out the water. The windage knob, same sort of deal. 
should be enough to allow you to zero the rifle with the scope and that's about all the features got the little Redfield logo pretty cool the front is threaded so I'm guessing you can purchase an accessory sunshade and attach it if you want didn't come with it the lens is nice not a whole lot of reflection off the lens pretty good pretty good and the back a little bit of reflection but not bad at all the side of it says Redfield in red go figure and let's flip this over USA designed machined and assembled pretty cool pretty cool and there you have it guys that's the close-up view of the Redfield Revolution pretty nice scope this is Redfield's AccuRange reticle as we're looking through the scope at a white background scopes about uh, currently set at about three and a half times magnification the reticle doesn't change as you change magnification so this is the sight picture you're always going to get with the exception of if you go below about three and a half times to three times yeah, the image gets a tiny bit smaller and I can demonstrate that so if I go a little bit smaller it got a tiny bit smaller really not much to speak about the reticle itself is pretty cool it's more than just a crosshair duplex reticle you got a circle around your crosshairs and then below that circle you have another aiming dot okay so we're still looking through the red field but now I've adjusted the camcorder to show you an effect it looks weird right now but as I pull the camera back that white circle that's the actual image of the scope that's what fills the pupil of your eye I keep pulling it back now you start to see that little ring around it I'm gonna keep pulling back keep pulling back keep pulling back keep pulling back yeah see that ring what you're actually doing is seeing inside the scope and all of that light let's see all of this light around here that's actual light that's reflecting inside of the scope tube and it's not being absorbed it's coming all the way back through the, to the eyepiece now amazingly um, when I look through it I don't really notice this colors are still vibrant I don't get washed out colors I don't get a lot of glare um, but it's interesting the this is something that your more expensive scopes will actually put coatings within the tube to actually absorb this stray reflected light but at this price point they're just not doing it this is the red field currently at three times looking down range the blue car is at about 130 meters and I'm just gonna go through the magnification range starting at three working our way up to nine times there's nine times and working our way back this is the red field currently at three times looking at a truck that's probably about 50 to 60 meters away what I'm going to do is go through the whole magnification range going from 3 to 9 the camera is set to manual focus and manual aperture there's 9 times let me move it over here I'm going to do the same thing going backwards from 9 to 3 And this time I'm going to do a each stop. So we're currently at three times. Now four times. Now it indicates five times. 
you guess what next? Six times. Keep guessing. Seven times. <laughs> Eight times indicated. And finally, nine times. The field of view at three times. The palm tree is very close to me. Say about seven yards away. Seven meters or so. And then working our way down the street. All the way down to the blue car, which is at about 130 meters. So that should give you a little bit of an idea of relatively short range, field of views, what's in focus and what's not. Let's do the same thing now at mid-range, six times. Okay, there six times. And finally, I'll do it at nine times. Maximum magnification. See how blurry the palm tree gets? It's not that the optics are blurry, it's just that the parallax is at a fixed parallax setting. And so not everything can be in focus at once. This is the red field at three times magnification. Giving you a little bit of an idea. That's probably about, about 30 to 40 meters away the fence. And then start looking closer. We're currently looking at a cottontail rabbit scopes at nine times magnification, the red field. To give you a little bit of an idea of perspective and field of view. I'm gonna zoom out to three times. then back up to nine. I'd say that bunny is probably about 60 meters away, about 50 to 60. We unboxed it, we took up took some close looks at it, looked through the scope. As it sits, optically, beautiful scope. I paid $166 from B&H Photo as of June 2017, and that's a good value. I like this better than the comparable Nikon Pro Staff. They are 3 to 9 by 40. I would, I would get this. I, I prefer it. I think it's optically a better scope. Waterproof, fogproof, shockproof. Lifetime warranty from Redfield. Pretty darn good. Now, there's just one little hitch. The people that make this scope, Loophold, also make a very comparable scope. It's their VX1 3 to 9 by 40 millimeters. And at B&H Photo, as of today, it's a $3 difference. The Loophold is $3 more. But, for that $3, you get perhaps, arguably, a fancier scope. Still a lifetime warranty, but now backed by Loophold, which I don't see going away anytime soon. Big company doing a lot of business. And the Loophold actually came with scope covers. These wonderful rubber bikini scope covers. The Redfield didn't, and so if I were to cover it, I might be spending 10 or $20. And I would. I wouldn't leave this unprotected. I, I really like to take care of my lenses for optics. So if you factor in the price of scope covers, well, now the loophole's cheaper. And now this not, might not be the case at every place. Cabela's might charge a lot more for the loophole. I don't know. 
But as it stands for me, buying from B&H, a very nice place to buy optics. Um, yeah. I would prefer the loophole. And in fact, that's the one I'm actually going to give my dad. But as this sits, beautiful scope. Can't take away that fact. Beautiful optics. Nicely made. Great scope. Great scope. I hope this little show and tell review, looking through it and all that stuff, was helpful. But if you still have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll do my absolute best to get back to you and help. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.